Okay, this is an interesting one actually. <sighs> Let's see. Well, that's the integral. I don't think I want to work with cosecant and secant because I don't think they get along with each other that well in integrals. I know sine cosine, they get along with each other much better in integrals, right? So I'll look at this as 1 over sine to a third power, and this is 1 over cosine, right? So I will just put down 1 over this being sine to the third power x, and then this being cosine x dx, like that. So this is good, but I don't think this is enough to work with. Because if I want to do u sub, then I'm stuck, right? I want to have more things to come up with, and the deal is that I will be utilizing this one. As we all know, we like to look at sine squared plus cosine squared being equal to 1, but today we'll do it backwards. We can look at 1 as sine squared x plus cosine squared x, like that. How's that? And again, the purpose is I want to have more things to work with. And the denominator is just of one term. And the beauty of doing so is I can do the first term on the top over that on the bottom. So I'll write this down here for you guys. I will get sine square x over this denominator, which is sine cubed x cosine x. And then we add cosine square x over sine cubed x cosine x like that, dx. Okay, this right here is pretty nice because as you can see, we can actually just cancel this and that. So you have one power right here. So that's okay. This right here is actually easier because when you cancel the cosine and cosine, you have sine x in the denominator and the two third power right here, right? You can do u sub because you have the cosine x on top to help you out. But the problem is that how can we integrate 1 over sine x times cosine x? Well, don't forget, this right here is technically a 1 now, and we can do this again. So I will write this down right here for you guys. This is the integral. I will write the 1 as, again, sine square x plus cosine square x, and then both of them are over this, and that denom this denominator, right? So I will just divide this by sine x cosine x and now I'll divide this by sine x cosine x like that and uh, let's see I might as well put this down right here together why not cosine x well yeah cosine x over and this was sine to the third power x like this more cancellations happening look this right here is good this and that cancel, you have the first power on the top now, and then this and that cancel, very good. So all in all, we are just doing three little integrals. The first one is the integral of sine x over cosine x, and that's close that, so put on the dx. And then the next one is this being plus integral cosine x on the top over sine x on the bottom, and then the dx. And this right here, integral of cosine x over sine to the third power x dx. Alright, so as you guys know, this right here is just tangent, and if you integrate tangent, you get natural log absolute value of secant. So I will just put that down right here for you guys, natural log absolute value of secant x. And this right here is technically cotangent, and of course you can also do u sub, but either way, I'll tell you, this is just the natural log absolute value of sine x because if you let u equal to sine x, you get that. So everybody right here is pretty much similar. Lastly, do not have the ln addiction. This right here is going to give us 1 over u to the third power, because you have that sine to the third power, and we cannot do the natural log. All right, so 1 over u to the third power, in another word, u to the negative 3, plus 1, which is negative 2, divided by that, you end up with negative 1 over 2. And you get u to the negative 2 power, where u is the sine. So I'll just put down the sine in the denominator right here. Okay? Sine to the second power x, like that. And of course, you can also write this down as what? Cosecant. So if you would like, you can also write this down as cosecant. Actually, let me just write it like this for now. Sine squared x. Okay? And the truth is, you can put this and that together. When you have this and that together, of course, you are doing sine times secant. In other words, sine divided by 
cosine, so the black point will give us natural log absolute value of tangent x. And of course, now I will fix this. This is minus 1 half. I'll put this down as the cosecant. Yeah, I guess can still see cosecant squared x. And we are done. So put a plus c somewhere that you can see. So I'll put a plus c right here. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.